Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day. I'm Christopher, the Senior Principal Architect over here at Pragmatic Works. And today I'd like to talk to you about the Azure Network Watcher service, right? Um, so when you think about how you deploy some assets within Azure, uh, you basically build out a virtual network. And you know, you can set that up so that it ties in with your on-premises network through ExpressRoute or VPN, um, or you can run it independently in the cloud and, and have your virtual network set up. So the question becomes, how do you monitor and manage that virtual network? Some of the components, how the virtual machines interact and uh, enter Azure Network Monitor, right? And so what it does is it allows you to monitor, diagnose, and gain insight into your network performance um, and health in Azure with metrics and the enablement of logging in Azure Virtual Environment, right? So it basically breaks down into four elements. The first one is the monitoring element. And you can monitor from one endpoint to another with Connection Monitor to ensure connectivity between two points. For instance, between, say, a web application and a database. In this case, you'll be alerted with, you know, potential reasons, right, it, for any kind of an issue. Um, you know, so if, if there's a disconnect between those two services uh, and you're monitoring, it's going to tell you the last time it was alive and, and those that type of information, right? Um, it also monitors latency times for evaluation. It, basically, when you look at those latency times over a period of time and, you know, what the average latency is and the max and the min and things like that, you can say, okay, well, maybe I can get better service in a different Azure region, right? And so uh, that's one thing to evaluate as you're, as you're looking at those latency times. Um, the network performance monitor allows for monitoring between Azure and on-premises resources for hybrid scenarios using VPN or ExpressRoute, like I talked about. Um, but it also has some advanced detection tra um, for traffic black holing and routing errors and some other things, right? So it's got some advanced intelligence when it comes to these, these uh, network issues. Best of all, as you add more endpoints, it will develop a visual diagram of your network with a topology tool, right? And it, it's going to basically look like a Visio diagram for you. Um, and, you know, it's going to show IP addresses and, and host names and things like that. So it's pretty cool. Now, from a diagnostic standpoint, um, there are several diagnostic tools that can help you to get better insight into your virtual network by diagnosing possible causes for traffic issues. So uh, one of them is IP flow, which basically tells you which security rule allowed or denied traffic uh, to or from a virtual machine in your virtual network uh, for further inspection or remediation. So uh, I, I, I have an issue with traffic flowing properly. Why? Right. So run the IP flow tool. The next hop tool uh, basically tests communication for routing uh, rules by letting you add a source and a destination IP, then shows the results of that route, again, for further diagnosis and remediation. Uh, the connection troubleshooting tool enables you to test a connection between a VM and another VM uh, or a FQDN or a URI or an IPD4 address, um, returning similar information to the connection monitor, but it's, it's only about that point in time latency as opposed to over a span of time, right? Um, and then you've got the packet capture tool, which allows traffic to be captured to and from a virtual machine with some fine grain filtering to be stored uh, in Azure storage and further analyzed with standard networking and capture tools like say Wireshark, right? It's a very common uh, network uh, capturing tool. And then there's some more advanced tools for uh, deeper diagnostic, you know, troubleshooting and things like that. Um, you've also got metrics and really, um, when you think about it, there are limitations as to how many resources you can deploy within an Azure network. Um, you know, so that can be based on subscriptions or regions, those kinds of things. Um, and, and the metric tool gives you the visibility that you need in order to understand um, exactly where you are inside of those limitations. So it shows you how many of those resources you've deployed, and how many are still available that you can deploy. Uh, and it really helps you set up planning for the future, you know, as you deploy more and more resources. Uh, when we talk about logging, right, log analytics, uh, I've talked about it here on Azure Every Day, 
and uh, you know we, we've we've done some interesting things with log analytics, but it really provides the ability to capture data about a whole bunch of Azure networking components, right? You can do it for network security groups, you can do it for public IP addresses, you can do it for load balancers, virtual networking gateways, application gateways, and there's some others, right? All of these logs can be captured and stored in Azure Storage and further analyzed, right? And many of them can be fed into OMS. We've talked about that, the operation management suite. Uh, you know, and, and that gives you that single pane of glass experience when you want to look at your environment at the sort of quote unquote 50,000 foot level, right? So it's a really helpful service as you start to deploy more and more assets into your Azure tenant. Uh, and it really gives you a great opportunity to get a high level overview of what that network looks like. So if you have any other questions about Azure Monitor or Azure or data or data services or, you know, a lot of things along those lines, we're really happy to help out. We're here for you. Um, so click the link below or send us an email. Appreciate it. Thanks and have a great day.